Let's do this, this one. There's a resonance based way mm-hmm. of fabrication that's not based on material composition. There's not based on fabrication method or fabrication protocols, procedures. Sure. Uh-huh. That's simple. Interesting. You don't want a nut to figure that out. That would be bad. That would be a bad day in hell or heaven, either way. That clip is pretty wild because Missile Man, this guy hates us. I can see why he hates me now because he's probably just jealous. I can understand it. Just no disrespect. Now, I don't even feel bad. I don't even dislike him anymore. I just feel bad for him now. I might even unblock him actually just to troll him a little bit more. Um, his, his name's Jake because Sal calls him Jake throughout this interview. Actually, pretty knowledgeable. Um, he was asking though, oh, well, he was under this impression. I could tell right away from his response before that clip that we need metamaterials to produce anti-gravity. We don't need metamaterials to produce anti-gravity. So that was Sal's response where he's saying, no, we don't need metamaterials. We don't have to be able to fuse things together at the atomic layer to produce these UFOs. He's going, what if it's just really easy? Like, what if we can make balls of plasma super, super easy? And now these balls of plasma, when jammed together, can rip through the fabric of reality. 